time for another edition of PFW's Tweet of the Week. And what's very important, players, is right before you tweet, think before you click send. We start with Arizona Cardinals defensive lineman Darnell Dockett. We talked about bringing his rocket into work and got people a little nervous that he was pulling a Gilbert Arenas. And then Darnell went on to talk about how he is registered to have a gun and the gun laws in Arizona. Again, probably Cardinal fans were not very excited to see some of those tweets. But, you know, Darnell obviously will find a way to get past that. Dockett wasn't the only player who turned some heads with a couple tweets this week. It was Texans running back Arian Foster. Now, Foster and I have one thing in common. It's certainly not our 40-yard dash time. It's that a lot of people have also been asking me if they should draft Arian Foster in their fantasy leagues. I guess they've been asking him as well, and it's been getting him a little annoyed. And he spoke out to these, those people telling them they are sick. Foster has a hamstring injury, considered maybe a possible number one pick. Well, those fantasy owners, a couple days later, they got to actually see the MRI of Foster's hamstring, something the Texans were not thrilled about. We'll have to wait till week one to see what happens with Arian Foster if he's able to play, and I'm sure his fantasy owners will be very concerned whether he likes it or not. Moving now, now to Terrell Pryor, newest Oakland Raider. Word had leaked that Pryor had scored a seven on his wonder lick, but he took to Twitter, took to social media, and he said, you know what, he got 22, and if you want to know more, you can ask his agent, Drew Rosenhaus. Well, Terrell, thank you for settling it. Obviously, 22 much better than a seven, although, again, 22 is still nothing to be very excited about. It'd be one of the lower scores of any of the quarterbacks taken in the draft. Well, we're going to end in with some lighthearted stuff from one of the best football player tweeters there is. Packers tight end Tom Crabtree. I'll just have to let this tweet speak for itself. While Crabtree is a great follow, I gotta say the best Twitter to follow during the NFL season is us at Pro Football Weekly. You can also check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.